Welcome back to Life is Strange. We just put together the evidence and found out about the existence of the barn, which is where the dark room is. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Probably. I think there's a couple photo opportunities around here too. Warren. I didn't realize that beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course, I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yeah, it so was. How you doing? I amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool. Now I have to go back to striking super poses. <laughs> yes, I think there's a windmill up here. Somewhere around here that we need to take a picture of. There it is. And I think there might be a bird, too. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Wait a minute, where did you come from, Squirrel? <sighs> Fuck this bullshit. Look at that little squirrel get up there. Tiny little legs. Squirrels can climb up way faster than that, by the way. They are very fast climbers. Squirrels are adorable. I love them. I wonder if that's part of the same property over there. I guess if there's a gate, probably not. Unless, like... Well, I guess this is a barn, so maybe that's, like, the house where you would live. I don't know. I remember we like move a sheet or something over here or some wood to sneak in through the side. There we go. Was that the windmill picture? I think it was. Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, it hadn't counted yet. Had to wait a second. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's the windmill picture. There's also one of like a... Foot of a bird, foot of an eagle, something like that. I don't know if that's here. door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez. That is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. 
You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Oh, that's right. The dark room is an old bomb shelter, isn't it? Yeah, this game is still Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This game is still really pretty. Not that it's that old, but it's aging pretty well, and I think it'll continue to look really good even far into the future. I think the weakest part would probably be the characters. Sometimes they look a little bit eh, but the environments are gorgeous. Yeah, there's some sheets and stuff under the ground. If I remember right, I think we gotta like lift up using a, that thing up there. Lift up the entrance to the underground place, which is under one of these places. There's a bunch of them. This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. From 1903, Martin Lewis Prescott, from the Prescott Ranch. Dearest Mr. Linden, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, My Little Pony. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. There has to be more here than this crate. Just rotting wood. Supermax, you can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe, um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Ah, the good old days. Polaris Market. 14 cents for some eggs, 70 cents for bacon. Two bucks for cocaine. So many haystacks, so few needles. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Yeah, so I think we need to attach the motor to the other side of the thing and then drop down the motor as a counterweight, if I remember right. I think we need to do some time. Oop, didn't mean to go down. But yeah, I think we need to mess with time here if I remember right. Just don't remember exactly why.
Oh, that's why. Yeah, we need the motor down there so we can use it as a stepping stone, but then we need it back up here to attach the rope to it. So is that hooked to it? Yes, it is. Should do it, I think. Anything else up here? Oh! Oh, there's another photo! It's an owl! Hey there! So suspicious. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. strikes again. Hold. Hold. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really- Whoops. Uh, yes, I think you have to figure it out based on the ones that look like they've been pressed the most, the most worn out ones, which looks like 4, 5, and 2. And surprisingly, it's only a three-digit passcode. So it's some combination of that. Let's try two, four, five. Oh no, it didn't work. Two, five, four. Wrong code. Four, two, five. Oh, think, think. Okay, so it's locked. Do the same thing I did with uh, Nathan's phone. Just reverse time if I get it wrong too many Some times. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Five or two. Oh yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Okay, so it's locked. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. I'm just thinking about how close we are to finding Rachel. Come on. What the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You've ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I am always available. <laughs> Dr. Jacoby, that's a Twin Peaks reference. 
Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Yeah. Now, I remember we end up tied up in here and have to fight against Mr. Jefferson. I'm guessing that happens right about now. Does somebody come in while we're down here? I don't remember exactly how we end up here, but we do. Just don't know if it's now or a little bit later. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Son of a bitch. Howard Rourke Construction, Stormbreaker Bunker, $1,350,000. Signed by Sean Prescott. Talk about tortured. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... out of it. Maybe... maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Happening even sooner than I thought. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these vials. This place actually feels evil.
Oh, that has a lot more weight to it now that I spent so much time with Rachel and Chloe and before the storm. Christ. Uh, also, I think the doe is Rachel. Given the way that scene played out. Seems to be really strongly implied. I remember when I first played through this section of the game at the time. Like I said, some episodes back, when I was playing this episode, I was in like a really weird place in my life and just felt strange and wasn't doing all that well personally. And that also, well, applied to here, applied to the entire episode. I remember feeling really disconnected the first time that Chloe found Rachel. I don't know, I guess it was too much in my own head, but now I don't feel like that. Plus, all the time that I've spent with Chloe and Rachel and before the storm, yeah, that hits a lot harder. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture, uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Hi, can I take your coat? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode because I think the vortex party is a pretty lengthy thing. So, hope you've enjoyed so far. <laughs> Sounds weird to say that after what we just saw. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon.